Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is x to power 6, this is equal to 5 to power 6. So what is the value of x? Solution from here, you find that, let's take 5 to power 6 on the left hand side, so that here we have x to power 6, subtract 5 to power 6, this is equal to 0 x to the power 6 can be expressed as x to the power 3 squared subtract 5 to the power 6 which you can express as 5 to the power 3 squared this is equal to 0. So this is actually in the form of a squared minus b squared which you can express as a plus b a minus b. From this equation, a is equal to x to the power 3, and b is equal to 5 to the power 3. So this implies that a plus b, this is the same thing as x to the power 3, plus 5 to the power 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. a minus b, this is the same thing as x to the power 3, subtract 5 to the power 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now, let's start with equation 1. Let's call this case 1, which is x to the power 3 plus 5 to the power 3, this is equal to 0. Now, you find that this is the sum of two cubes expressed as a to the power 3 plus b to power 3, which we can express as a plus b, a squared minus a b plus b squared. So x to power 3 plus 5 to power 3, this is the same thing as x plus 5. Then here we have x squared, subtract 5x plus 5 squared, which is 25. This is equal to 0. So here we have two parts. The first part is x plus 5. This is equal to 0. The second part here, which is x squared minus 5x plus 25. This is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. <coughs> so x1 here is equal to minus 5. This is the first real solution we have. Then the second part here is the quadratic equation, which is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 5, and c is equal to 25. So to solve for x2, comma x3, we apply the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that here this is minus minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is minus 5 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 25 divided by 2 times 1. So let's proceed from here. So let's proceed here. So here we have minus times minus 5 this is 5 plus or minus we have the square root of minus 5 squared which is 25, subtract 25 times 4, this is 100, divided by 2. So here we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75, divided by 2. So this is equal to 5 plus or minus, we can express the square root of minus 75 as 25 times 3 times minus 1 
divided by 2. So this is the same thing as minus 75. So this implies that here we have 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5. The square root of minus 1, this is i. Then square root of 3 divided by 2. So this implies that x2, this is equal to 5 plus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So this is what is x2. Then x3 here is the same thing as 5 subtract 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions that we have. So let's quickly solve case 2 here. Let's solve case 2, which is x to power 3. Subtract 5 to power 3. This is equal to 0. So x2 and x3, these are two complex solutions that we have. So from case 2 here, we have x to power 3 minus 5 to power 3. This is equal to 0. This is in the form of a square, that is a cubed, sorry, minus b cubed, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus a times b plus b squared. So applying this identity, then x to power 3 minus 5 to power 3, this will be expressed as x minus 5, x squared plus 5x, plus 5 squared, which is 25, this is equal to 0. So here we have two parts. The first part here is x minus 5, and this is equal to 0. And we have the second part here, which is x to power 2, plus 5x, plus 25, this is equal to 0. So this implies that x4 is equal to 5. x4 is equal to 5. The next part here is a quadratic equation, which is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. So this implies that a is equal to 1 from this quadratic equation, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 25. So that implies that to solve for x5, we have x4 here. So we need to solve for x5 and x6 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a so substituting this here a b and c will have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 5 squared which is 25 subtract 4 times 1 times c, which is 25, divided by 2 times 1. So let's proceed from here. So here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus, this is 25 minus, 4 times 25, this is 100, divided by 2. So this implies that here we have minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is minus 75, divided by 2. So therefore here, we have minus, minus 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 75 is the same thing as 25 times 3 times negative 1, divided by 2. So this implies that x5, comma x6, this is equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of 25, this is 5. The square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, divided by 2. So this implies that, this implies that we have 6 solutions here. This implies that we have 6 solutions. We have 6 solutions here. We have x1 is equal to, x1 is actually equal to 5. We have six solutions to this particular exponential equation with x1 
equal to minus 5, x2, comma, x3. This is the same thing as, that is 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. Then we have x4. This is equal to, x4 is equal to 5. And then we have x5, comma, x6. This is the same thing as minus 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. So these are the six solutions that we have. We have two real solutions and we have four complex solutions. So kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.